no difficulty that can't be overcome. Trevor. What do you think of Theo? Theo Dane? Yes. Do you say she's a nice sort of person? Is she kind? Well, she wears a lot of perfume. Cootie sheep, it rubs off on everything. I could probably bear that. Well, goodbye, Amy. The very best of luck. Thanks very much. I can still hope I shall do. I uh, parked in the lane. Awfully sorry to surprise you, but uh, there's news from London. It's all right. It's good news. I can't believe I'm going for a screen test. I don't know anything about Charles II's sister, Henrietta. I don't even know what she looks like. Well, let's just hope she had a pimple on her nose. <laughs> Rat. Come on now, take the dishes down to the water and get them swirled. if I had one. Sorry. I didn't know you indulged. Oh, I don't. At least I never have before. I suppose with the girls and everything, I, I don't really get to go to places where I would. Thank you. Nana did wonder if I ought to have the odd one. She thinks that it helps to break up chest congestion. But honestly, the thought of sitting alone in the kitchen in the dark dragging away on my solitary fag. It made such a tragic picture I simply couldn't bear to. <coughs> oh, Lord, I do feel all quick to eat away before the girls get back. <coughs> what time do we need to leave tomorrow? Nine should do it. We'll be at Shepparton by noon. We could perhaps have tea out afterwards, on the way back to London. I'm afraid I must be home by four. I have an appointment with Theo. Oh. Oh, we can't let you be late. Screen test, Mr. Shulsky. So, Pauline Fossil, how old are you? I'm nearly 16. Do you want to be in movies? I don't know. I don't know much about them. But you want to be an actress? No, I need to be an actress. Hold it. in her room for her and Mr. Simpson. Just leave it outside! There you are. Who's on this? <laughs> yes, I think. Earl's Court, 428. <laughs> that's simply wonderful. Oh, I'm sorry, I said that's wonderful news. Jumbo calling, stitch your marks. Okay, people, we are going again. Clear the set, please. Clear the set. And scene eighty-four, take one. Action. Write to me while I am gone. I will try. Not I will try, but I will. I will. Cut. Cut. You what, Pauline? Bake him a cake? Knit him a sweater? Look, 
Your brother here is, is asking for an emotional lifeline, okay? It's great. Fantastic, Leo. Can we take it again? Scene 84, take two. Not, I will try. But I will. I will. Cut. Cut. Take three. I will. Cut! Can we, can we talk? Excuse me. You've got ten days on this page. This is your seventh. And you've yet to show me that you're not made of wood. I do so many takes, I can't concentrate. I can build myself up to the theatre. I can be a character. Honey, honey, this is motion pictures now, okay? Look, you've got everything to learn, and that's, that's fine, but you've got to give me something real. What's real to you, Pauline? What matters most to you in the world? Acting. If that is a truthful answer, there's no hope for you. Scene 84, take four. Ash. Write to me while I'm gone. I will try. Not I will try, but I will. I will. Art. Great. Fantastic. You did it. I just thought about my sisters. Awful it must be to live your life alone. That was wonderful. Okay, let's move on. to sheep. You never wanted anything. Well, when the war broke out, I thought I'd like to drive an ambulance. But, of course, I didn't do anything about it. Had you. <laughs> Madame, please may I change my shoes before we start my own channel? These were my mother's. They fit me now. Small bones? High arches. Like you. She was just like me. She loved ballet more than anything. I know that because it was a thing she chose. Pauline. 